we actually discovered that there is a mice in the motor compartment of our van. We actually ditched the perfect boondock in place and came to the Mercadona. Back to La Carlotta, the town we were spending time on the house and say Mercadona that we actually went. There's no Lidl's. And of course the Lidl they have really good products also but Mercadona. We're gonna buy uh, this mousetrap. We refer the electrical ones because Basically, when the mice is killed, you just pour it away and put it back on. And they are more human, so they don't trap like some mice legs somewhere. I want to have a nice killing kill. experience. Yes. So electricity is always good because they die immediately. So, gonna go that and also we have to buy food. Our fridge is totally empty. And there is also Merca Asia. So all around Spain there is uh, China town stores where they sell everything. <laughs> yeah, you can find everything from there. So either from Mercadona or from a uh, Asian store, we're gonna buy uh, this mousetrap. Inflation it actually affects also to the grocery stores. Uh, now in Spain, since three months ago, prices has gone up like yeah, I think ten percent. Yeah, so everything is going up, food, diesel, and everything. But yeah, we are on our budget. No mouse traps were found, but we did buy this stinky cheese. So stinky cheese, so we can put it on the some trap we find from the Asian store. Yeah, gonna pack things up to the van, put it them um, on straight to the fridge, and that's what we are doing always when we are doing grocery shopping. So we don't take any bags. We just put it in a cart and unload then everything inside the van, straight to the fridge. No comprendo español. I wanted to find the electrical trap, but we didn't find so we bought just a rodent poison which we were gonna actually put there where the mice were hiding so they will be dying in a two days time There is a lot of flies in Spain so we are glad that we fixed our bug net because they will protect our van there's so many of those flies and because there's a dark clouds and weather forecast promised us rain we have our grill set up here underneath the big oak tree so hopefully the big tree will cover us and give us some shelter boiling the potatoes and some vegetables and then we will make a quick grill outside and let's hope the rain won't catch us we also use those tiny little wood chips in our wood stove inside of our van Carpon de Lena Barbecue Charcoals And now we have a big bag You would think in Spain those charcoals would cost a lot but that's not the case They are really cheap I don't know why Firewood here is expensive but charcoal is not Barbecuing Skill that you have to master after years of van living Best part of van living Barbecue barbecue time one thing that we need to do is change the charcoal brand because those are crackling yeah it's not really a pleasant 
way of doing food when your face is full of cracklings. <laughs> yes, we have to set up here ready. Best part of the van life, eating outside, making food, enjoying life. <sighs> and we did buy soda. Fresh gas lemon and this tastes like gin. I'm not so sure this is my favorite. I kind of like it the yellow one better. Little bit seven up. I think seven up. With the not alcohol. Gin. No. Okay. <laughs> Maybe rum. Yeah, good. Yes. Loving it. Life is still good. We have a couple of neighbors here. But we are just that far away from each other that we can enjoy <laughs> ourselves this place. Yeah. Bon appetit. So good food. Day two. Second day of feeding the mouse in our van, and seems like it's working because we did put two um, pouches of rat poison over there, and one is already gone, and the second one is half eaten. So we can actually continue putting that uh, poison there until nobody touches it. So when nobody eats it, we know that all the mice are gone. Yeah, it's a it's a scary thing to think that you have mice in your motor compartment because they can actually eat some gables and everything. And when you start like uh, <coughs> trying to find the fault, which of the wires is actually broken, it's really hard work and of course expensive. So we hope that we can get rid of these mice before they start eating all the wires in inside our motor compartment. Yeah, fingers crossed, they are gone. Yes, it's small. Yes, it's cramped. Yes, the water pressure is kind of bad, but the water is really hot and it's a real shower. I don't understand people who don't use their showers. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Bad news. Joni is sick. Yeah. And it's not just a man flu. And how do I know that? I'm boiling myself a coffee and Yoni does not want coffee. He would rather have this <laughs> Finrax, this ibuprofen, caffeine, uh, flu medicine mix that you can buy from the pharmacy. So to me, that is a sign that it's not just a man flu that he actually wants to get some medicine in his body because he is really anti-drug person. It's this pink and hot and it's like how your mama made it when you were sick as a child so it comforts you. Yeah, best part of being sick in a van when you have a company and you, have, you don't have to be here alone. can be just miserable and that's it and you don't have to do anything you can just concentrate sleeping and drinking a lot of fluids and resting I don't know if this is the notorious C virus because eventually everybody in this planet will get it let's just hope it will go fast quickly and this rain and cloudiness and grey weather isn't helping our moods that much. But when you are sick, it sucks when you are in a house 
or in a boat or in a van. So it always sucks to be sick. I have been editing the fantastic episode that you are now watching. And there has been several rainy days now. And I have been using only the battery power to edit. And this has been such a game changer since Joni installed the lithium batteries. Because in previous time with the old AGM batteries, we couldn't edit the video during the rain. And now it has been several rainy days. And I think we can use our batteries full week editing, rendering, doing everything really power hugging and it does not affect at all. So we don't really have to think about the power consumption. So it's like living in a house, but you don't have to pay the electrical bill. So it's pleasant to be sick in your van because you have fire a bit just beside you and there is also a teapot and hot water coming in a second. Hey, <laughs> life is good, even when you're sick. And Bulla is doing everything he can to pamper me. Good. Because Yoni is at flu, he cannot really taste or smell anything. I'm cooking comfort food. We do have this Omnia oven that you use in the top of the gas hop. So it's just this two layer pan and it has a lid. Whoops. And it works as an oven. There is special kind of products like this grill. But now I'm making this vegetable stew. So it has potatoes, tomatoes, beans, soy, and a lot of olive oil and a lot of chili spices. So I'm going to make it really hot. So it helps with the stuffed, stiffy nose and when your throat is being sore. Yeah, it's kind of gross looking, but it's yummy when it's ready. Weather is still pretty gloomy and Joni will sleep a lot and drink a lot of fluids and I will pamper him. So he will be better in a few days time. So now just a lot of resting. Bon appetit!